channel today I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine I do this almost every day and when I say almost I mean there are obviously little things that I do differently but this routine is what I do almost every single day and I wanted to share it with you guys so let's just get right into it okay guys so to get started what I usually do is I start with a primer and the primer that I'm using is just the cooling water milk makeup um, cooling water stick or whatever. I don't know. I heard you could use it as a primer. So that's what I I have done most of the time I usually just put it under my eyes under my eyes and just kind of across my forehead a little bit and my chin or Wherever I have any acne spots that I'm gonna cover But other than that, that's mostly just my problem areas or and or under where I'm gonna be putting most of the product. Moving on, next up I would just grab my, I use the Maybelline New York Dream BB Fresh um, BB Cream. I don't know, I really like it. Um, I've been feeling like BB Creams are the way to go. That's just what I've been feeling lately, I don't know about you. But I use this and I just put, I like squirt a little bit and I put dots all over my face. And then I will show you what I do after that. But another thing I do occasionally use is I occasionally like to use the creaseless concealer depending on if this isn't giving me enough coverage for certain spots that are like not doing so well or if like it's not covering my eye bags enough or whatever i will just be using the creaseless concealer please don't mind the tape i really really need a new one just don't even mind that okay but normally on most days i usually just use a little bit of this in a couple of spots just kind of to like have a very light layer on my face because I don't know heavy concealers and stuff are just not the move I don't really like that so so as you can kind of see I don't really know I just kind of put it in a couple of spots and then I just I know that's like probably not the most sanitary thing like I did wash my hands I promise I like showered I just use my finger and I kind of just rub it around and rub it into my skin because it's a BB cream and I feel like it's just not needed especially when I'm like traveling or something like that or if I just need to use it in the bathroom at school or something it's just really nice and it um yeah you get what I'm saying right okay so like with some spots like my cheeks I don't really like put too much like any like BB cream or anything on there because usually my cheeks my cheeks are pretty clear when it comes to acne. So I've got a ring light right there. I'm still working out the kink, so I'm sorry if the lighting looks really off, but that's what's going on. So I've got like a dark side of here and a light side of here. Anyway, so after that I usually go straight to the bathroom to get washed out off my hands. But for the sake of time and going back and forth, I'm not gonna do that. Next up I'll just grab my bronzer and that is this well the one that i have is the wet and wild color icon bronzer i don't really know it works for me i want to be able to get better products for my makeup but this is what i use and it works okay so now that i'm done with my bronzer i usually just keep doing more powder things um i go on to using my blush blush i usually use the dandelion by benefit um, I really like this one. I, I mean, okay, so I can do a video about this, but you obviously can tell I do really like it because I've hit pan on that one and I've hit pan on my bronzer as well because I use it a lot. Um, I really like it. I really want to get a bigger one because this one is just a like try on mini one. So I don't know. Okay, another powder that I use, I do use a setting powder, but I only use my setting powder when I use my creaseless concealer, just because I feel like it's a lot heavier. It's heavier than BB cream, and I feel like it's kind of more needed. Um, this is like literally almost gone. There's like literally almost nothing in here. This one's broken too, so I really just need to get new makeup. Um, so after I do that, I go ahead and I grab my Milk Makeup Highlight. So it says apply to cheeks, to cheekbones, lips, and eyes. Um, but I use this as a highlighter and I just go ahead and just do it on my cheek. And then I do my cupid's bow right there. And a little bit on my nose sometimes. It's, I, 
I don't usually do it on my nose because my nose has been kind of a sensitive spot to um, makeup. But I just do that and then I kind of rub it in with my fingers. And yeah, I've never actually tried this on my eyelids before. I maybe will one day, but I don't know. But that's what I do in terms of highlight. I don't really know. I don't really do it too often. But that's what I do. And then um, after that, if I'm doing eyeshadow that day, if I'm feeling nice, I usually will just be using the Too Faced, Too Faced White Peach Palette. I'll show you guys what um, shadows are my favorite in this palette. But it just looks like that. It's the White, Pe Pe White Peach Palette from Too Faced. Okay, it's kind of a hot mess in here. But the ones that I use are just this color and just like down here, like these three right there. I don't know, I feel like I really like those ones and they just look really good on my skin tone. And I have tried out the other ones and I do like those as well, but I feel like every time I'm getting ready for school, I always go towards the pink colors on all of my palettes and I don't know why, but I do. And then after that, after I'm done with that, I will just go do the rest of my eye type makeup and I'll just use my gimme brow on my eyebrows. I'm really running out of like all my makeup, like my gimme brow's kinda gone too. But it's fine. And then after I do my brows and I just kind of give me those up, I will just be using my Maybelline New York Pumped Up like Colossal Volume Mascara. It's just waterproof. That's why I use it a lot. And I'll just put that on. But I want to let my eyelashes be nice and not full of mascara. So I'm not going to put any on right now. But that is usually my makeup routine. I do this every day. And I usually... Uh, well, I uh, depending on, I usually use a lip chapstick or a gloss or something. I've got a couple of chapsticks that I've really been loving lately. I use Carmex that I have on my keychain um, that I use a lot. And I really was liking the candy cane chapstick. Um, it's, I don't know, I really like it. It's taste, not, it tastes nice. And then I do like the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I really like the way that this looks. I'll put it on so you guys can see. Like, I like it because it's, I like tinted lip balms, I think, a lot better than most chaps, like, not most chapsticks, I mean, like, most, like, lipsticks in general, because I just, I don't, lipstick is just kind of a lot for me. I'm not sure if I really like this dark of a shade, I feel like it looks really dark on camera, but that's why I don't really wear it too often, but when I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling my vibes, I wear it. And then I like to put on this, just, like, blossom scented lip gloss because I feel like it just looks really cute it's like a roll-on one so that is my makeup routine I love it I think that it's just very simple and like still nice for school so I hope you guys like this video I'm sorry that it was so so short but I hope it was fun for you guys to watch go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I don't know subscribe Go subscribe to my vlog channel. I've got a lot of vlogs that are being posted currently, probably. Not currently, but like being filmed. Okay, restate that. I've got a lot of vlogs that are being filmed currently and being filmed next week. So I really hope you guys go subscribe to my vlog channel as well because I think you guys would like that. Okay, so this is my last post in 2019. That's kind of crazy. I didn't really think about that. But yeah, this is my last post in 2019. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you guys. I will be posting hopefully every Wednesday. Um, I just I to point that out to anyone who hasn't really known my doesn't follow me on Instagram or anything, which you totally should go follow me on Instagram. But I have mentioned that I'm going to be posting every Wednesday at 6 p.m. with the occasional Friday at 6 p.m. So after you see this video, I will be having a video out on Friday because this video is coming out on Christmas. So on Friday, I'll be posting my Christmas haul video so please stay tuned for that and click the notification bell so you guys can get that when it comes out so i will be posting on every wednesday at 6 p.m with the occasional friday at, at 6 p.m um that's another reason why you should follow my instagram is because i will be updating you guys on if there's a video delay or if there will be a video on friday or not but so far wednesdays at 6 p.m is always going to be the posting schedule for me Especially with this new year, I want to make sure that I have a posting schedule and that I actually make sure I get all my videos filmed in time and edited in time and ready for you guys. So, yeah. And last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or just whenever you're watching this. And Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.
time just feeling bad.